Now, here in the land of liberté, égalité and fraternité, it's been revealed that French literature students in their final year of school study only male writers. What's astonishing is that it is not surprising. In fact, no woman writer has ever figured on the curriculum. And that's why petitions now being sent to the government to get things changed, as Luke Schrago reports. It's an eyebrow-raising issue for France's education sector. Every single novel selected for the literature curriculum in the final years of secondary school have been written by men, and it's not an isolated occurrence. Depuis 20 ans que j'enseigne au lycée, for the 20 years that I've been teaching, never have I come across a woman writer. I've told myself all these years that we need to tell someone that there's a real problem when it comes to developing these programs. Françoise started a petition to revise the curriculum earlier in May. She garnered thousands of signatures in just a few hours, along with more than a few suggestions for a group so far widely underrepresented. When you have eminent female writers like Yorsena, Virginia Woolf or Colette, and more recent ones like Virginie Dupont and Dominique Bonnat, I find it inconceivable they're being overlooked. Students too have started to take notice. It's something that we don't fully realise. I've never asked myself the question either. Maybe it will make us aware that women also write beautiful things. Other writers have a different explanation, pointing to historical inequalities when it comes to female authors, and have been asking if it really makes a difference. When you're reading A Woman of 30 by Balzac, Madame Bovary, or A Life by Maupassant, you really understand women, and that's what's important. Perhaps it's not important to have women at all costs, but to try and evoke women's issues accurately, and I find that men do that brilliantly. Either way, the government has taken notice of Françoise's petition. The French Education Ministry has promised it'll be working to reduce stereotyping within the school curriculum, with the committee in charge of it being encouraged to even out the balance.